Clarkson's Farm star Caleb Cooper knows one recipe, and it features his favorite snack. Caleb Cooper says he regularly gets asked for recipe suggestions for books or articles, but admits he falls short in the culinary department. Caleb Cooper, the breakout star of Clarkson's Farm, has admitted that his culinary skills are limited to a single recipe, but it does involve his favorite snack. The 26-year-old has won legions of fans after appearing on Clarkson's Farm alongside former Top Gear presenter Jeremy Clarkson. His quick wit and no-nonsense approach to farming won over viewers. And while Caleb may be well known for his knowledge on the farm, he admits there is one area where he isn't an expert. In his book, It's a Farming Thing, Caleb admits his cooking leaves a lot to be desired. He wrote, Since I've been on telly, I often get people calling me up and asking me for a recipe for a cookbook or an article but it's a bit like asking the Incredible Hulk for advice on tailoring, I only know one recipe and it's for radishes, which are my favorite snack when I'm working. Caleb's method for enjoying radishes involves biting the top, before spitting it, back out of the tractor window, then eating the rest of the radish and repeating the process. In his book, Caleb also reveals his unusual breakfast preference, crumpets topped with butter, jam and cheddar cheese. He said, I've got a fascination with crumpets at the moment. With butter, of course. And jam, obviously. And cheddar cheese, which people might think is weird, but it all goes brilliantly together. Caleb has openly stated his unique culinary preferences, comparing them to European customs by saying, people in Europe like quince jelly with cheese, apparently, I think they've totally got the right idea, reports the Daily Record. Declaring a profound affection for cheese that rivals even his nans, Caleb jokingly invites research on the matter, I would gladly take part in a study to find out, so if anyone wants to set one up, we'll both be there like a shot, purely in the interest of science naturally. Caleb Cooper, the breakout star of the hit Amazon Prime series Clarkson's Farm, has charmed audiences with his down-to-earth personality, sharp wit, and unrivaled knowledge of farming. As the 24-year-old farmhand working alongside Jeremy Clarkson on his diddly squat farm, Caleb has quickly become a fan favorite, known for his no-nonsense attitude and his ability to handle the many challenges that come with running a farm. But while Caleb is best known for his farming skills, it seems there's another talent he possesses, one that involves a recipe. In a recent interview, Caleb opened up about one thing that has become a cornerstone of his daily routine, his favorite snack, which he jokingly refers to as his, recipe for success. And while it might not be what you would expect from a farmer, it's certainly something that has struck a chord with fans who appreciate Caleb's straightforward approach to life. Caleb's favorite snack. The simple comforts of a good crispy snack. During a candid chat with the Sun newspaper, Caleb revealed that while his work on the farm requires expertise, patience, and a lot of hard graft, when it comes to food, his tastes are refreshingly simple. The snack in question, a humble packet of crisps, or, as he calls them, crisps from the packet. Caleb revealed that when he's not dealing with cows, crop rotations, or helping Jeremy Clarkson navigate the trials and tribulations of farming, you can almost always find him enjoying a bag of crisps. I know people think farmers eat all sorts of fancy meals, but the truth is, I keep it simple, Caleb said with a grin. Give me a bag of crisps, ready salted or cheese and onion, that's all I need to get through the day. The revelation of his love for crisps has sparked a wave of social media posts from fans, who have found Caleb's preference for the classic snack endearing and relatable. It's a stark contrast to the sometimes glamorous image that celebrities often project, and many are celebrating the fact that Caleb, like most of us, appreciates the simple joys in life. A recipe for success, Caleb's down-to-earth personality. Caleb's love of crisps is more than just a quirky fact about the Clarkson's farm star. It speaks to his broader approach to life. As a young farmer thrust into the limelight by the success of the show, Caleb has remained incredibly grounded. His candidness and authenticity have endeared him to fans, who appreciate his unpretentious attitude. Whether he's offering advice to Jeremy Clarkson or dealing with the myriad challenges of farm life, Caleb's straightforwardness and sense of humor make him stand out from the typical TV personality. For many, Caleb's down-to-earth persona is a refreshing change from the polished images often projected by other reality TV stars. His straightforwardness is part of what has made Clarkson's farm such a hit. While Clarkson's farming skills are often the subject of mockery, it's Caleb's experience and practical knowledge that have proved invaluable in helping the farm get up and running. His no-nonsense approach is what makes him such a natural fit for the show. When asked about his rise to fame, Caleb reflected on how his life has changed since joining the cast of Clarkson's Farm.
I'm just a normal bloke, really, he said. Nothing's changed for me. I still get up every day, go to work on the farm, and enjoy a packet of crisps at lunchtime. The fame side of it is all a bit mad, but I'm enjoying the ride. A simple snack with big benefits. While Caleb's love of crisps might seem like a lighthearted detail, it's actually a symbol of his ability to keep things simple and find enjoyment in the small things. In a world where people are constantly chasing after the next big trend or luxury, Caleb's preference for a bag of crisps is a reminder that sometimes, the best things in life are the simplest. His favorite snack might also be part of a broader philosophy of how to manage the demands of a busy, challenging job. Farming is incredibly demanding, with long hours, early mornings, and physical labor, so having a quick, easy snack that provides comfort and energy can be just what's needed to power through the day. For Caleb, crisps offer that instant gratification without any fuss. Sometimes, when you're up to your knees in mud or trying to fix a tractor, you don't want to spend ages making something. You just want to grab something quick that you can eat on the go, Caleb explained. Crisps do the job, they're easy, and they taste good. A favorite snack that resonates with fans. Caleb's relationship with crisps has struck a chord with viewers, many of whom have shared their own love for the snack on social media. Caleb's not just a farming legend, he's a man of taste, one fan tweeted. Nothing beats a bag of crisps when you're working hard on the farm. The simplicity of the snack also speaks to Caleb's personality. He's not someone who gets caught up in fads or trends, instead, he finds joy in the familiar and the reliable. I think a lot of people can relate to Caleb because he's not trying to be anything other than himself, said one fan. He's down to earth, hard working, and he knows what he likes, crisps. Indeed, Caleb's choice of snack also plays into the broader narrative of the show, which celebrates the hard work and perseverance of the farming community. As much as the show highlights the difficulties and humorous moments of farming life, it also provides a window into the simple pleasures that can be found in the everyday routines of working on the land. Caleb Cooper, a star in the making. While his love for crisps may seem like a small detail in the grand scheme of things, it's just one of the many facets of Caleb's appeal. As the breakout star of Clarkson's Farm, Caleb's presence on screen has made him a household name, and it's easy to see why. His personality shines through in every episode, whether he's helping Clarkson with his increasingly ridiculous farm ideas or offering sage advice about running a farm. Caleb's rise to fame has been swift, but he hasn't let it go to his head. His grounded nature, coupled with his sharp farming knowledge, has made him a favorite not just among viewers but among his fellow farmers. His ability to blend practicality with a sense of humor has made him one of the standout figures in the world of reality television. For Caleb, it's all about balance. While he takes his work on the farm seriously, he knows how to have fun and find joy in the small things, like a good packet of crisps. Life on the farm can be tough he admitted, but at the end of the day, if you've got a packet of crisps, a cold drink, and a bit of peace and quiet, everything feels all right. Caleb's future, will we see more of his, recipe for success? With Clarkson's farm being so successful and with Caleb continuing to capture the hearts of audiences across the UK and beyond, there are whispers of more television projects in the works for the young farmer. While Caleb remains focused on his work on the farm, his rise to fame has sparked speculation about his future in the entertainment industry. Will he continue to work alongside Clarkson, or will he branch out on his own? In any case, one thing is clear, Caleb Cooper's recipe for success isn't just about the crisps, it's about staying true to himself, working hard, and enjoying the simple pleasures in life. Whether he's on a farm or on screen, Caleb's authenticity and relatable personality will likely ensure his continued popularity for years to come. As for the crisps, well, it seems that Caleb will continue to enjoy his favorite snack for the foreseeable future. And who can blame him? After all, as he says, there's no better snack to keep you going during a busy day on the farm. Conclusion Caleb Cooper's love for crisps might seem like a small part of his larger-than-life persona, but it encapsulates so much of what makes him special, his simplicity, his authenticity, and his ability to find joy in the small things. As Clarkson's farm continues to be a massive hit, Caleb's down-to-earth nature and grounded personality are a big part of its charm. While his recipe for success might be humble, it's one that resonates with fans and serves as a reminder that, sometimes, the simplest things in life are the best. So the next time you're feeling stressed, remember Caleb's words, grab a bag of crisps and take a moment to enjoy the little things. The course play gig at Jeremy Clarkson's Oxfordshire Pub.
The former Top Gear host purchased the windmill in Astow near Burford for around £1 million earlier this year. Renaming it the Farmer's Dog, Mr. Clarkson opened the spot in August and fans have been flocking to the watering hole ever since. An event with the popular 1990s and 2000s band The Coors was held on Wednesday night with County and District Councillor Liam Walker taking to social media to share his thoughts. Three photos were posted including one of the Conservative Party politician with Clarkson's farm star Caleb Cooper and a shot of the Coors in action underneath the hanging tractor inside the pub. A bizarre Wednesday evening hearing the Coors play a little gig at the farmer's dog, said Mr. Walker in a post on X, formerly Twitter. Hopefully my awful singing wasn't captured for season 5 of Clarkson's farm. Meanwhile Formula One driver Oscar Piastri was spotted at Jeremy Clarkson's farm in Chadlington this week. The 23-year-old swapped the race car for a tractor on Tuesday as he was seen on former Top Gear host Jeremy Clarkson's Diddley Squat Farm in Chadlington. The duo along with Clarkson's farm star Caleb Cooper were seen across social media in photographs together as well as videos. In a surprising turn of events, legendary Irish pop band The Coors took to the stage at Jeremy Clarkson's local Oxfordshire pub, creating a memorable night for fans and music lovers alike. The gig, which was kept under wraps until the last minute, marked an unexpected but exciting collaboration between the band and the outspoken TV personality turned pub owner. With its rustic charm, cozy atmosphere, and countryside setting, Clarkson's venue, the Allerton Arms, became the perfect backdrop for an intimate performance that had both locals and fans traveling from afar to witness the rare occasion. Clarkson, who is perhaps best known for his role as the host of Top Gear and for his controversial comments in the media, has taken on the role of a publican in recent years. His pub, located in the heart of the Oxfordshire countryside, has become something of a local institution since its opening. But this was no ordinary night for the establishment, it was transformed into a music venue of extraordinary scale as the Coors, who rose to fame in the 1990s with their mix of pop, rock, and Celtic-inspired melodies, played an intimate set for an audience of just a few hundred lucky guests. A surprising event at the Allerton Arms. The news of the performance sent ripples through the local community and the world of music fans alike. The event was announced just days before the gig, leaving many to scramble for tickets and reservations. Given the tight-knit nature of Clarkson's pub, tickets were limited, and the event quickly sold out, attracting a wide range of attendees, from die-hard The Coors fans to curious locals eager to catch a glimpse of the band and the famous host. Clarkson, who has long had a reputation for being something of a contrarian, was clearly delighted by the buzz surrounding the event. In a brief interview before the performance, he joked about the unlikely pairing of his establishment and the Coors, saying, I didn't expect it either, but they're a fantastic band, and we're always up for a good time here at the Allerton Arms. Who would have thought that a pub in the middle of nowhere would be hosting such a legendary act? The Coors, a night of classic hits and new tunes. The Coors, who are known for their heartfelt ballads and energetic performances, had not played a live show in the UK for several years, making this an even more special occasion for their fans. The group, consisting of siblings Andrea, Caroline, Sharon, and Jim Corr, have remained active in the music industry, though their public appearances have become less frequent since their peak years in the late 1990s and early 2000s. On the night of the gig, the band played a mix of their greatest hits, including fan favorites like, Breathless, Runaway, and, What Can I Do, alongside some newer material from their most recent albums. The atmosphere inside the pub was electric, with fans swaying to the music, clapping along, and even singing some of the lyrics with the band. The intimate setting allowed the audience to get up close and personal with the performers, who seemed just as excited as their fans to be part of such a unique experience. Andrea Kaur, the lead singer, expressed her enthusiasm before the performance. We've been playing large venues for so long, but there's something so special about performing in a small, intimate space like this, she said. It's a completely different energy, and we're all really excited to be here. The band's performance was complemented by a live string section, which added an extra layer of depth to their already impressive sound. For a moment, it felt as though time had stood still, as the audience was transported back to the golden era of the course with their seamless blend of traditional Irish folk and modern pop rock. Jeremy Clarkson, the unlikely pub owner. Jeremy Clarkson's role as host for the evening was not just limited to providing the venue. He actively engaged with the crowd, sharing anecdotes, cracking jokes, and offering his thoughts on the band's performance. Clarkson, whose public persona has often been characterized by his witty and at times acerbic commentary, was in his element at the event. 
he seemed genuinely pleased with the turnout and, in his signature style, offered a cheeky comment about the nature of the gig, I think it's a great idea to have such a legendary band play here. And frankly, I couldn't have asked for a better crowd. Though, I would have liked it if they played Top Gear's theme tune. But we'll take what we can get. The evening also gave attendees a glimpse into Clarkson's role as a pub owner. Since taking over the Allerton Arms, Clarkson has worked to transform the venue into a go-to spot for food lovers, music fans, and anyone interested in a unique experience. The Allerton Arms, known for its delicious food menu that mixes traditional British dishes with a modern twist, has been praised for its inviting atmosphere and, more recently, its unexpected musical offerings. A uniting moment for music and television. For Clarkson, the collaboration with the Corps marked a moment of crossover between his television persona and his new life as a pub owner. Over the years, Clarkson has been known for his blunt, often controversial views on everything from politics to the automotive world. But this gig served as a reminder that there's more to him than the tabloid headlines. The event also attracted attention from other celebrities, with a number of high-profile figures spotted in the crowd, including Top Gear producer Andy Willman and several members of the British media. Some industry insiders noted that Clarkson's pub had become an unexpected hub for interesting and sometimes surprising events, further cementing his reputation as an unpredictable and multifaceted figure. The performance was also a reminder of the power of music to bring people together. The crowd, a mix of fans from different generations, shared a collective appreciation for the course, music and the nostalgia it brought, as well as an excitement for Clarkson's unconventional role in the evening's entertainment. The event was a perfect example of how music and television worlds can collide in unexpected and delightful ways. The After Party, a pub night to remember. Following the performance, the pub's intimate setting allowed fans and band members alike to mingle and chat. The After Party took on a laid-back, almost family-like vibe, with members of the Coors and Clarkson interacting with fans, sharing drinks, and soaking in the relaxed atmosphere. Clarkson, typically known for his larger-than-life persona, seemed genuinely at ease in this setting, surrounded by good friends, great music, and happy guests. The Coors, gig at Jeremy Clarkson's pub was undoubtedly a night to remember for those fortunate enough to be in attendance. The combination of a world-famous band, an unexpected venue, and a beloved British TV personality created a perfect storm for a unique event that will be talked about for years to come. For fans of both The Coors and Clarkson, it was an unforgettable evening that showcased the magic of live music in a setting that was as personal as it was unexpected. A new chapter for Clarkson's pub. With the success of this event, it's likely that Clarkson will continue to bring high-profile musical acts to the Allerton Arms, further cementing the pub's reputation as a hotspot for unique and exciting events. As for the course, the gig might serve as the beginning of a new chapter in their live performances, perhaps signaling more intimate shows and a renewed connection with fans. In the end, the event was a testament to the power of music, the unpredictability of celebrity culture, and the ability of both the Coors and Jeremy Clarkson to surprise and delight their audiences in the most unexpected ways. As the night ended, guests left the pub with smiles on their faces, knowing they had witnessed something truly special, a moment that perfectly blended music, celebrity, and community in a way only a night at Jeremy Clarkson's pub could.